Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be referred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As usual, we are going to start off with our gold daily chart, and we can see um, I consider this whole thing a, a consolidation range. You could say that there was five days here and five days here. Overall, I would say this is a consolidation range. And again, what are we seeing? I think we're all waiting to see what happens. The vote tonight to confirm the deal. Uh, uh, and I think that will see some movement in the market. Look at our market profile on our hourly. Look at this. Just up and down, up and down. So uh, a lot of choppiness, a lot of whipsaw action. Um, which is a perfect time to be sitting on our hands and letting the market really tell us that it's ready to continue the beautiful long uptrend of gold or whether or not it's going to pull back uh, fully back to our 20 moving average here on the daily. So gold, I still consider that we should be sitting on hands. Um, we're in a range and let's let the, uh, the news hit the market and let's trade the reaction of that news. Speaking of which, what do we see on the pound dollar? Well, on the daily, we can see that our resistance of about 1.6425 ish, 6430 ish is holding up. And it, with the potential of the dollar strengthening off of this, which is interesting because we're borrowing more money, but the potential of the dollar strengthening has moved our, our pound dollar paradigm. Now here, likewise, you can see we have a larger range here that we're watching. Um, so our, our immediate support is going to be our 20 and 50 moving average. And if you bring our crosshairs in, what's there? Notice that you know we, we've got a couple of wicks there, right here, back in early June. And that's basically where we're at right now. So there is some support here, uh, and, it, and it made sense. As we come over to our hourly, we can see we are below neutral. We were once in a buying uh, buy zone, uh, but we're right now hovering around our long to moving average. So that, to me, is another set on hands. We should see some clarity through the vote tonight. But we see what? The dollar took control. That caused our move down. Uh, we got a nice divergence. When we get that divergence, that's something you want to take advantage of. But now you can see they're starting to converge. They're coming back towards each other, and that's why we're seeing the pound dollar begin to rise. Even though the dollar is in control, they are coming back towards each other. Again, my advice, we're in a neutral zone. Uh, we're at the long time moving average. Let's sit on hands. Um, let's let the news come out and react to it. And again, on our daily, we can see where we're at. There is some support. Uh, a couple buyers found value here in the past, and we also had the 20 to 50 moving average. Now, for the euro dollar, we can see likewise our resistance at 1.45 has held up, and we've made our way back down. Where do we make our way back down to? Well, let's grab our horizontal tool, and we can kind of see buyers have found value. Here's found value. They're finding value. They're finding value. They're finding value once again here today. On the hourly, we can see the same thing. Dollar took control. They're uh, uh, diverging, and as they begin to converge and come back towards each other, the euro, um, uh, the price action has moved back up. Where are we? Well, we're 
in a buying zone still were below neutral. However, we're just below our long-term viewing average. So although the dollar is in control, we see the convergence of both uh, currencies. And again, let's let the news, one way or other, even if the vote doesn't happen today, even if the vote fails today, the market will react. Finally, we have the dollar franc. And we can see just a beautiful downtrend, beautiful downtrend. Um, just out of curiosity, might as well take the time to draw it in here. And let's see what we got. Ah, I just wanted to see if we're trying to pull our way back up to this downtrend action right here. Um, overall, all we see in a downtrend. Come on over. You can see we're well below our long-term moving average. We're in the buy zone. And the franc remains in control. However, you can see that the dollar tried to come back up, and we, we, we're beginning to see a little convergence here with the dollar trying to come back in control, and that's why we're seeing our up move here. So, again, with all three of these pairs, there's a vote scheduled for this evening. The market will react no matter what the reaction of that vote is, the results of that vote is. Let's wait for that and let's trade the reaction. As we move to our education portion of our video, a good friend of mine, uh, David from DMBFX, shared a book with me, The Intelligent Investor. And it has a preface, a preface by Warren uh, Buffett, and he gives this quote. To invest successfully over a lifetime does not require a stratospheric IQ unusual business insight or inside information. What is needed, he says, is a sound intellectual framework for making decisions about the ability to keep emotions from corroding that framework. So again, what have we been talking about for the past month? To be a successful trader is about having a system, a way that you come about making your decisions. He calls it a sound intellectual framework. We've been talking about trading systems that has a positive expectancy because you've tested it and know that over time your wins outweigh your losses and the amount of money you win outweighs the amount of money you're losing. And then he says the ability to keep your emotions from corroding that framework. What we've been talking about, we've been talking about fears, we've been talking about emotions, we've been talking about developing a trader's mindset. And so it's one thing to have the system it's another thing to have the, the, the intellect, the discipline, the mindset to control your emotions to properly trade that system and it, versus allowing your emotions to trade your emotions, which every emotional trade I've made has lost me money. So that's the key to being an accessible investor. As always, you know you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. On Facebook, we have a page, Are You Financially Literate? And our videos are on uh, Move Up With Mike, and that's also our Twitter account. You know we have a great free five-course video course about high probability trading, how to help you develop your own uh, high probability trading setups. And that's a lead to give you a, a way to where we think a way to how we help people and that's what our mentorships our coaching sessions you can buy them as a package you can buy them individually but we'll work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you develop a personalized training plan so that you can have that sound intellect cash back for forex trades if you're going to be trading forex why not get paid to trade these are rebates so therefore it doesn't affect your spreads it doesn't trade your, uh, trading conditions it's just rebates for your trades and then finally if you want to get signals you can have it automated or you can get the signals to trade them for yourself but in the end it's not about the system it's not about the indicator and it's not about the room that you're in it's about the sound intellectual framework that allows you to make educated decisions Focus discipline decisions and not allowing your emotions to corrode to self-sabotage your system. Thanks guys. And I'll see you next time